Hello YouTubers, Wild Gunner here doing a video review of the Russian made Chameleon Sniper's Chest Rig, which is a commando style chest rig intended for use with the SVD Druganov. However, I do not actually own an SVD Druganov, I do own a Romanian PSL rifle, which does pretty much the same purpose and uses magazines, more importantly, about the same size. And for a lot of people own these rifles, but they're very difficult to uh, find magazine carrying options with. Up until now, because I have a, for comparison here, I've got a AK-74, AR-15, a G3, and PSL mag, obviously. And as you can see, it's much shorter, because it's only 10 rounds, though it is those big rimmed bullets, but uh, even so, it's really short. So a magazine pouch, like on my Splat M23 Assault Vest over here, can easily take AR-15, AK-74, AK-47s, which are even a little longer, and they stick out far enough that you can eat pretty easily grab them. This is not only too short that it'll just completely drop in and you'd have to reach your whole hand in there and try to dig around, is it won't even fit because it's so thick front to back is it just won't fit into the pouches to begin with, really. And even if you did force them in there, it'd be a bitch to pull them back out. However, a lot of rifles even come with these, and they're pretty easy to find surplus, are these belt, four magazine belt pouches, which are uh, basically what this one's Romanian, and it holds four magazines. And you can have a little pouch inside that in the back that you can put uh, your what have you back in there. This is the first uh, chest rig, purpose-built chest rig, I have been able to find for this kind of weapon system. And I really like it. I got it from uh, sovietpropaganda.com for like 90 bucks. And it's very, very simple, which I like. It's all pre-made. There are a few companies that make... You can try to find your own like separate attachable mag pouches and or... Honestly, they probably won't be mag pouches, but maybe hand grenade pouches or something like that. Medical pouches that you might be able to fit these into. But these, they fit in perfectly, first off. It holds uh, 10 mags in 5 pouches, and they're very securely attached. Well, re magazine retention is not a problem, because it's kind of a triple retention system. First thing is you've got this uh, Velcro which I don't like Velcro personally, because, you know, anyone who's used war in AC, army ACUs in combat will probably be able to tell you that ACUs don't work once they get dirty, because the Velcro, well, all the Velcro, which they use it for everything nowadays on those stupid uniforms, it loses its ability to stick together, and then it just flops around, basically, once it gets all clogged with dirt and dust. But... Even without that, you know, ignore that, basically. You've got snaps. And I like the snaps, because they're very positive, you know. Click, you know it's secured. And, you know, you know it's unsecured. And thirdly, they've got these elastic bands, which actually hold them in there quite well. You can actually turn it upside down, rattle it around and the mags didn't fall out, and the only thing holding it in is the elastic band. So even if these two, the Velcro and the snaps, both fail somehow, you still got this to keep them from just, you know, flopping around. It also, while they obviously still rattle around some, those are also unloaded, I think, so it kind of probably helps. Is It keeps them snugly together, and they don't rattle as much as they do in uh, just a pouch that just kind of has them, you know, flopping around in there. So it's very secure. This pouch here is actually for your scope. The reason being is you're supposed to, uh, with Soviet doctrine, while this is obviously not intended as a close combat weapon, if you needed to clear rooms with it, you could. You know, sort of. And you're actually supposed to take the scope off and, you know, put the scope in, well, normally you would put the scope in one of these with the pouch in the back was for your scope. 
while you go clear the room with just your iron sights because you didn't want the scope getting damaged and you also it blocks off a big old section of your vision if you're clearing rooms. Which I'm not really planning on using it, but you know, it's just one of those things that's there and doesn't get in the way. And finally you got this big old, uh, it says map pouch on the website, but it's just kind of a whatever you feel like sticking in their pouch. And I really love this vest. If you own one of these, I would highly... I just dropped a, something over there. Anyways, I would highly advise you get one of these vests. Sovietpropaganda.com. I think it was 90 bucks. I'll post that on this uh, video anyways. And uh, great vest. Highly recommended. You'll have a nice day.